As a missionary of San Juan Batista, I'm going to give you a short tour today. Here at the mission, we have a chapel, granary, and a house for the Padres, which was built in the spring of 1797. The original church was destroyed by an earthquake. The earthquake happened so much that the missionaries at the time slept outside for an entire month in 1798 because it lies on the San Andreas Fault. The first Anglo-American resident, Thomas Doat, created most of the interior of the church you see today back in 1816. Over the years, the earthquake caused so much damage to the church, which led them to build steel beams hidden within the structure, making it easier to restore the church if ever needed it again. Figures in the background of the main altar have six people of honor. The side section or aisles are decorated with interesting pulpits. The particular one in here has an eagle on it. And just outside the chapel, you can find the cemetery, where the corporal's infant son was the first one buried there. In the garden area, you can see many cacti and even some tools. When you're walking through the museum, you can find weapons and tools, even a wishing pun that were used in the early years of the mission. The smaller chapel is used for the Sunday school, which the residents had to attend while living on the mission. On the other side of the mission is the storage and wagon garage area, where they stored all their horse-drawn carriages. And behind the wagon area is their green or work area where the workers stored husta corn and even sorted seeds. It also is a place where the blacksmiths would work, making their weapons and armory as well. Just on the other side of the granary is a washroom where the residents could wash up in a little room. That is our tour of San Juan Batista. I hope you enjoyed yourself and I hope to see you again soon.